Today I want to talk about a camera that takes two shots on one frame. Hey, what's up? It's Ryan. And as I said before, I want to talk about a camera that I found from another YouTuber uh, that really piqued my interest and I'm super happy I picked up. It is the Yashica Samurai 3.0. And I know what you're thinking. No, this is not a video camera. This is an actual 35 millimeter camera that takes photos. It sure does look like a video camera. I'll agree but it actually takes really great, sharp, fun photos. But I wanna talk a little bit more about that whole two pictures on one frame thing I was talking about. But before we get into that, let's just go over a couple of things about this camera that are special. The lens is a telephoto and wide lens. So with the push of a button, you actually get zoom. So you can zoom in on your subjects and then by pushing on the wide, you can pull it back and have the wide angle lens open. The interesting thing about this camera is the way you load it. Generally, when you load a camera, you load it horizontally. But with this camera, you actually load the film in vertically. So when you're loading the film, you just pop the film in, drag it along to the top. The DX code reader is in the camera, so it will know your ISO. And then once you close the latch, it automatically winds it for you. But again, the interesting part about this is, is you're loading it vertical, which is something I've never seen. So you might be thinking, what's the real purpose behind having two images on one frame? I mean, this is a 35 millimeter camera. 35 millimeter images are already kind of small and we wanna make them small. Smaller? Why? Well, the reason is, is because two reasons. One, it gives you more exposures. And back in the day before digital cameras were around, you were limited to how many photos you can take on a roll, depending on how many photos you could take on a roll. So this gave you double the amount of exposures you would get on a roll. So 36. Hey Siri, what's 36 times two? Equals 72 shots. The second thing about it is, is you can get natural in-camera diptychs. Not dick pics, diptychs. Diptychs are when you take two photos and combine them into one frame and there's a nice little border down the middle. There is an app out there on your iPhone called Diptych that lets you do this and also Instagram has their own version of the app that lets you do this as well. But this does it all in the camera itself. The one cool thing I really like about this camera is the way it sounds when you take a photo. It's very mechanical, it's very like opening a door and closing it shut kind of situation. The power button is actually on the side here. So I took this camera and we went up to Harriman State Park for the day. And I took it because I wanted to be able to get a lot of exposures. But then also one other great thing about this camera is it lets you get really super creative with the photos you take. Because since there's two photos on one film, you can get creative shots. So you can take a photo that complements the other photo on there. So we went up to this lake. We went up to this beautiful part of Harriman State Park. It's this gorgeous lake. We had some lunch and then we went for a little hike along the lake. And this is where I tried to challenge myself to get a little creative with the photos that I was actually taking. So there's a couple of photos here, like I took a photo of some water and then of a bridge complementing each other. Then there was a photo of me on a log and zoomed in closer. I mean, this is just part of the things you wanna do. And here's a couple of other photos I took that tried to complement each other and have that natural diptych in it. And 
that's what you want to do with this camera is you want to try to get creative and push yourself to, to find two subjects that'll complement each other. So we kept walking around. I wanted to finish out a roll of ectochrome I had in there. I don't shoot ectochrome that much because it can be a little bit of a challenge to get developed. And I would say that the photos came out pretty good. Ectochrome is known for being super contrasty and super saturated. So these photos kind of reflect that. I edited them a little bit in Lightroom because yes, I do edit my film in Lightroom. And they came out pretty good. But then when we got back to Brooklyn, I was like, eh, I want to, you know, capture some golden hour photos. I have a roll of portrait in my bag. Why not? Portrait for life. Hashtag portrait. Portrait fam. So I took the camera and I went down to Domino Park in Brooklyn during sunset. And this is where the camera blew my mind. The photos I got back from it were so sharp. These are the sharpest photos I think I've ever taken with a film camera. Granted, I've only been doing film for a, about four or five months now. These photos came out incredible. The color is beautiful. The photos are super sharp. And I was really able to get creative with the complimenting of the photos. So I just walked around Domino and just anything that I could see that really complemented each other or just maybe made a story out of these photos, I took those photos off and they came out great. I love them. They're, I'm so happy with them. This is a camera I found on eBay for I think like 130 bucks. They are not expensive. You just want to make sure you find one that works. Try to find one that's been tested or is confirmed that it works because it, there is mechanics in it, especially for the autofocus. I could see the autofocus going out one day, but for right now it works pretty well. It's very limited. It's very metered, but it still gets the photo sharp in good light. And then when there's not good light, you have that built-in flash that you can take pictures of people that don't want to have their photos taken. But I'm gonna leave you with this and just tell you that I love this camera. It is so much fun. It's not a camera I would take with me all the time. It's something I would use for special occasions or for something I was just going out to feel creative with, but it is a great camera. Your lab can develop it either in single frames or in the diptychs that I was talking about. You can check it out on eBay, but check out some more of these photos. I hope you enjoyed these videos. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Welcome to my new studio here in Astoria. Am I wearing pants? You'll never know. I'll see you later.